hi guys welcome back to my channel in this video we are going to see how to develop a simple web app in go and let me to create our project we need to create a directory for it so let's do go mode initiate and the name should always be the name of your github account if you don't have a github account create a github account i would recommend or else you can use a random random anything you can put i am using my dummy github account which i use for this so it creates a go mode here now you can actually commit your code so let's do commit or change this go oh, i'm sorry get initiate and then we can say get add then we can say get comment M and we can give a name like initial commit or anything you want okay so it did the initial now we are going to do the framework you're going to use a framework gen so gen is basically a lightweight framework it is pretty similar to flask for python if you have used if not it's not a very big thing it's very simple let's let's try coding package main and we have to import github.com slash gengonic slash gen once we import that we can have a function main in that we are going to have our i will explain this later let's code first default uh, dot get hello comma you can have a funk then comma context c dot string okay c dot it's a string and we can give it as 200 comma hello world and we can say that r dot run 880 okay if we go ahead and run this go run main dot go allow access so started running so let's go and see h this is local host ATT. it will give you page not found if you hello say hello let's do a random okay okay all right really a random Okay, so my the purpose is actually uh, just to show you that it actually collects it actually shows you whichever page you have been r equals to gin dot default actually this creates a router object r using the built-in default that comes with gin and then we can assign a handler function handler function to it to any http get request like a path we have here is hello and that will return a string we have it here hello world and 200 is actually an http ok status code next video what we will be doing is we will be using some json and using a little bit html and then we will be deploying this hello world using docker so for that please put me in a comment uh you guys if you need that video soon just let me know i'll just do that video as soon as possible so thank you for watching my video. Do like, share and comment. Thank you.